What's up guys, welcome back. This is video number 12 in my series on making a mobile game with JavaScript. Now today's video is gonna be super quick. Um, all I wanna do today is just go over um, getting our random radiuses set up so that we can do you know, our focusing and have it look our cool animations for the next video. So right in here, I'm just right at the top of our JavaScript page and what I'm gonna do is just jump into our generate random universe function right here. And we're just going to scroll down to the bottom here where we're actually pushing in this system data. And I'm just going to make a couple of adjustments here because um, I actually made this variable new system that I'm not even using here. So what I'm actually going to do is change things around a little bit and I'm going to say new system and set the coord x of this system equal to x. And then I'm going to do new system dot coord y and set that to y. And then I'm going to go ahead now and add a new property, new system dot radius. And we're going to go ahead and set that equal to something I already, what I'm using for mine, which I found to be, you know, a pretty good size and randomness to our, you know, system sizes. And so in this case, we're actually going to get a random integer. We're going to use that function. And in this case, we're going to get a random number between 300 and 700. And then we're going to go ahead and divide that value by 10,000. So what we're going to be getting here is a, you know, a decimal value between 0 0.03 and 0 0.07. And the reason we do that is, you know, it's, it's the same kind of thing we did here with the chord X and chord Y. Um, in that case, you know, we're getting a ratio of the screen size and that's what this is. So we're getting you know, between 0 0.03 and 0 0.07 percent of the screen size, and that's what our dots will be. So, in this case, now I'm just going to go ahead and delete this, and now what we'll be doing is passing in new system. So now what we can do is when we jump down to here to the render, we have data here. Now, and that's what we're using for all this stuff. So what we can do now is we can actually set something up for the system now where we can set a radius property. And so now this radius property, of course, now our data has access to the radius right here. And what we're gonna do is just multiply that by W, which if you'll remember W was just the window width, so the screen, the screen width, essentially. So now that we're doing that, um, we can jump right down here to where it actually draws this stuff out and then we're gonna go ahead and just add into the styling the custom styling here we're going to say s dot radius and then of course we do times 2 because radius is half so we want it to be the full diameter for the width and then we add pixels and then we'll just do height will be the exact same thing because it's a circle. So now we have the height and the width in there and so we'll get those different you know variations in size which is going to be super cool. And then the last thing we can do is fix an issue that we were having before where our middle you know our center dot wasn't exactly in the center when we loaded it up. So what we can do now is just subtract the s dot radius from each one of these chords and I'll just you know put parentheses around these to make it look a little nicer so we can now subtract the radius so you know we put it here but then we're gonna go boop boop and center right in the middle of the screen for us and now of course um, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy up till here and just replace our regular transform as well and update that so that covers our basic HTML now and what we can do is jump into the CSS and you know down here at the bottom where we you know plugged in this default 5050 we could just get rid of that now because it's going to set the height and width for us in this case so yeah now you can see above me really quick I have a quick demo of what yours should look like obviously you know your sizes and stuff aren't going to be the same but um, you know you should have a nice random variation in size and in the next video, I can actually go over, you know, how we focus the system. And so we'll practice with that. 
and get that set up in the next video. So thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead and subscribe and like my video, and I will see you next time. Peace.